Hey, my beautiful Geminis, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, like and subscribe. If not, hey, family. So let's get into this reading. But before we do, Heavenly Father, thank you for every Gemini that's watching. We actually give them strength, clarity. Let them get to have the victory in every situation that they're facing right now. We thank you for their growth. We thank you for their health. And most of all, Heavenly Father, we thank you for their healing. Victory is ours. All right, Gemini. Let's get into this into this energy all right first thing i'm gonna start us up, start us off on a question that uh this is an empowering question that you need to ask yourself at this particular time message is a leather light a beautiful gemini's okay we have what does love mean to me so spirit wants you to really think about what is love to you what does it mean to you what would you do for it? What do you think um, is worthy of it? Do you think you're worthy of love? If so, why? If not, why? And Spirit wants you to really analyze that the word, the meaning, the emotion, what it has been to you in your own personal experience. Because I feel like something is coming in, but you have to release the negative thoughts that you feel that love is. If it's pertaining to anything that you're holding on with hurt, regret, um, just pain in general. And uh, Spirit said you're going to have to let go of some of the things that you hold on associated with love because spirit wants to usher you in this type of love, Gemini. And, um, but in order for you to receive it, you have to know you're worthy of it. All right. All right, messages of love and life from my beautiful Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, and Gemini. Y'all know y'all are the lovers. Oh. oh. Y'all are the lovers. I mean, y'all might be some good lovers. No, we knew that Jim now. Messages love and light. Okay. So the first card that came was the three of wands right now. So right now, Jim now, I feel like it's something that you're waiting on. It's something that you're waiting on. I feel like you're waiting on some type of clarity between you and somebody else. Or if this is dealing with work, you're trying to uh really see what like like if you're trying to go for a new job it's like you're trying to get clarity on what actually are you going to be doing how what's the environment like and i feel like gemini with this you're waiting on something i feel like you're waiting on someone to give you some type of clarity so that you will know either to move forward or to move on and i feel I don't want you to feel in the state where you have to wait on somebody or wait on something. Spirit is uh, spirit is basically saying, at this time, don't wait on nothing or nobody. You keep on pushing. Basically, you keep doing what you was doing before this situation came because you don't want to put all of your focus, which is your power, on something that probably won't even show up. And if it does show up, it may not show up in the way you desire it to come in. And then seeing that we have the high priestess uh, at the bottom of the deck, Spirit is saying, Gemini, it's something that you know about this situation that will, you know, allow you to move forward or not. So don't, I don't know, don't wait for illusions. Like what people say, if they're not acting or showing, don't wait on illusions. And if you're waiting on some type of communication, I say right now, you know, focus on you until it comes keep working until it comes the next card we have is the full card you're ready to dive into uh, dive into something dive in i think you're waiting for the signal from somebody to be like okay i'm ready and you're just about to dive in full force yeah this is this is a waiting energy and ready to move forward in something so either you waited on somebody and when they finally uh, showed up, but not really even really showing up, I feel like you just went head in first, 5150. And, and I feel like because this next card is, is the five of cups, 
it's like you you regret some some somebody regrets something in this i don't know if they regret moving too fast in this situation i don't know if they regret um just probably not paying attention to this love it's like if something happened between you waiting on somebody or something it it coming and you're going full force if it was a job you was waiting on a job opportunity they was gonna have you travel then you end up going to travel and you like forget it i'm dropping everything this is my dream job you drop everything and then boom like let's just say one like it's a traveling job let's say you went out one night got drunk and you you cussed out and had a fight and you end up losing that job and now you sitting over here in the five of cups here like damn i fucked up so it was something it was something that you waited on that came and you jumped in real quick. But I feel that you were not, uh, you didn't take precaution while you was in it. Then we have the, uh, this is the Knight of Wands. So this is the Playboy energy. This energy is like an in and out energy, a free spirit energy. I feel like while you were waiting on somebody, you were still doing you. <laughs> Jim and I say, first of all, uh, love don't wait on nobody. <laughs> Pineapples. <laughs> but yeah, so while you were waiting on somebody, I feel like your passion was burning for other people. You were like, well, shoot. This person ain't showed up. I see it light here. It go flame here. And you was like, man, I'm about to do this. So I feel like Gemini, this could be you or your person, but I feel like this you though. <laughs> Gemini, you was you was free. You had the illusion like you was a homebody and you stayed, you know, you was innocent. But when when while while you was waiting on somebody to come back in and let you know what's about to happen in y'all relationship, you was free. you was out there. You was you was friendly. <laughs> no way, wait, no judgments all up the bay. Look, you was just enjoying your life, goddamn. You say, look, we ain't married and you ain't showed up yet. You know, you might not show up. I don't wanna, you know, waste my right now time. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Okay, pineapples. So, I feel like, yeah, so while you was waiting, you know, you had your own little entanglements. <laughs> and then by the time this person came, came in, I feel like you were like, okay, I'm, I'm, shoot, I'm taking. <laughs> you like, I'm taking. I'm taking. Look, here's my heart. You, you was. But you were serious though, for real. You like shoot, I done got it out there now. I'm I'm straight. I'm straight. And I feel like so you dived in, you jumped into this situation with your whole heart in it. Because shoot, you like I laid everything else in the past. Like that's the past now. You in now. We we together. <laughs> So, this was the Ace of Cup, a new beginning. You jumped into a new thing, a new love. Then, and now this is like right after, and it was like, you have to put your, this is like, sorry, my bad, bad technical difficulties. This is like, you know, you have to put them days behind you. Like, shoot, that's why I got it out of me, because I'm serious. You know, you know, you talk about marriage and kids. You know, it's about that time for me to put them childish things away, but... Then something happened because this five of cups is like you don't know what it's like something happened where it's like you just don't know if this was what you wanted. <laughs> like I feel like you jumped in and got in it and it was like something happened to where it's like you just either they they found out about some of your uh entanglements. Either what is this bear? Let me clarify. This is the ten. This is the ten. This was everything you wanted. This is the. This is great energy. I feel like you was ready to give your heart to some. But why is this spirit? Why is this five of cups right here? Poor communication. Page of swords. Feeling like you had to tiptoe around somebody when working with them. So it's like you was. I guess if you was trying to. You was trying to work with them, but I don't know, like communicate, like you, 
like the communication was kind of uh immature like i don't know it's like if if you couldn't stay on their conversational vibe like you know you could be with somebody but if you really don't have like depth to talk or have the same um yeah and then we say and then we have the seven of swords this say is something sneaky it was something sneaky surrounding this ten of cups and and i had and i believe it has something to do with the with being uh in and out yeah that's what you regret i feel like somebody regrets their sneaky ways or what they uh, and gemini if this is you i feel like your per uh Either you or your person um, regrets being sneaky or like they were doing stuff. Like if it was even before y'all met, like I said, this energy could be yours or your person's. You just take it how it is. But some of y'all Gemini's do apply. <laughs> but this could be some of your person. I feel like you was wait. Okay. So you could have been waiting on somebody and now they coming in after, you know, soiling in their royal oats. And now it's like, you don't even want this connection or it could be vice versa. Like you was waiting on somebody and then y'all find, and it's like, but while you were waiting, you was doing you or vice versa. They was doing them. And when y'all finally did get together, I feel like y'all really wanted to say, okay, we are about to make this happen. But what happened was somebody was still in this sneaky energy. Somebody was still hot and bothered. And it made this person not even really want this connection anymore. All right, Gemini. Let me get you two cards. Messages of love and life for my beautiful Geminis. Okay. We have... Um, butterfly re relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth so a lot of things that happen uh happen because of some unhealed uh issues from how you were raised and how you grew up and then we have not enough frustrating relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage so somebody is lacking uh the confidence in this relationship so what they're doing is they're destroying it on their own like you destroying it like this person could could have been trying to talk to you but you acting really uh petty i'm just saying if it's yours take it if not if it's triggering you then choose something you gotta look it on the inside then we have girl with a snake empath narcissist being charmed to you so i feel like somebody is <sighs> Somebody is really like out for their self in this relationship. Somebody could be, and you know, if it's you, it's you, you know. Hey, sometimes you just, it is what it is. And if it's not, I feel like it's somebody that's very toxic. And, you know, they, they, um, they just need to heal on themselves. But anyway, Gemini, if any of this resonate, like and subscribe, hit that notification button. I want y'all to know I love y'all, love yourself. And also, if any of this energy uh, you don't like or you want it to go another way, focus, well, what has not already came to pass, focus on what you truly desire and only see it only see it and every time you have thoughts if your thoughts don't line up with that then that means that you need to rethink you know what i'm saying what it is that you that you truly want also let me bring it back to this question what does love mean to me the thing is whatever love means to you you need to love yourself first so if you if you find yourself giving whatever this thing love is to somebody else that you're not obtaining yourself then you need to rethink love again because i feel like a lot of times you're in situations because you like the image of love but not really knowing what it is so once you figure that out the only way you're gonna know is once you love yourself like a love child then you will be able to accept someone in to actually love you and you won't feel guarded. Bye, y'all.